RFK Jr. is running for president. Um, lots of, honestly, major red flags about his candidacy. I, I think he's been photographed with the likes of, uh, what's his name, Roger Stone? Or was it Roger Stone? Or I'm not sure, but he should run as a Republican based on his yeah. media tour. Bradley, if you could look that up, it was either, Mike, I think it was Michael Flynn and one other guy. Um, so I'm not sure exactly who's... Yeah, he was photographed with Michael Flynn and Roger Stone. Yeah, I mean, the, and Roger Stone's a dirty trickster. He's, he's certainly not above trying to elevate this kind of anti-science denial in the Democratic Party. I mean, he's an insane political hatchet man. Ex right. Absolutely. <laughs> so any, any association with RFK Jr. should be immediately a huge huge uh five alarm fire freak out if you actually want to take the candidacy seriously and yeah to the extent that there are things that you agree with rfk on uh, for, for instance the jfk assassination stuff i'm partial to there are things that yes. i'm very anti about uh, what uh what rfk is saying particularly his uh, stance on on uh what I take as an anti-public health uh, perver um, um, perversion of uh, big pharma criticism. But um, if you care about the things that he's making about his campaign, you should also um, resent that he is putting all these turds in his punch bowl um, with this other crap. Yeah. And, and when you say the it's uh, anti-public health designed as anti-big pharma, that's why I wanted to play this clip here because... Right. This is him speaking with Sagar and Jetty of Breaking Points, who's on the right. And he's asking RFK Jr. about energy policy, about nuclear, solar, and all of those industries being either public or private. And if you're really concerned about chemicals in the water, if you're really concerned about, I don't know, industry like big pharma but not just big pharma running rampant and hurting the american people i would imagine that you'd have a more robust pro public ownership position on these kinds of things but based on this answer and ryan grimm flagged this on on twitter it appears that rfk jr might be to the right of sagar on this issue it's interesting to me. I heard you talk a lot about corruption. We we're talking here about the profit motive. I was surprised, though, you did the interview with the All In podcast. I knew that you were against nuclear power, but you're talking with something interesting, saying that we should have effectively a completely free market energy system. And I guess I wanted to talk, you know, with somebody whose father and uncle famously supported major public initiatives, which didn't necessarily pay out, but which would yield massive dividends in the future. Why should nuclear, solar, wind, or any power, honestly, float outside? of public support systems if the overall social benefit of, of it unlocks economic potential. I'm just curious for the well, objection I mean, on the cost I, I, alone. I, I, you know, I think the market is the best. I mean, here's the thing is and it, we don't have free market capitalism. Let me just say Or that. free market energy. No, right? that's why I'm surprised. We have, yeah. You know, we have the, the energy, the rules that come in the energy industry are written by the incumbents mm -hmm. to, you know, to, uh, to benefit the, the the dirtiest, filthiest, most poisonous, most toxic, most warmongering fields from hell, rather than the cheap, clean, green, wholesome, and uh, and you know efficient fields from heaven. In, in a true free market, true free market promotes efficiency. Efficiency means the elimination of waste, and pollution is waste. Hmm. In a true a true free market would require us to properly value our natural resources, and it is the undervaluation of those resources that causes us to use them wastefully. That's so stupid. In a true free market, you can't make yourself rich without making your neighbors rich, without enriching your community. But what polluters do <laughs> is they make themselves rich by making everybody else poor. Certainly, the most they raise standards of living for themselves by lowering quality of life for the rest of us, and they do that by escaping the discipline of the free market. The you discipline. Polluter, so, so pause something. it. Um, it's it's oh. if, if you look in the background, uh, there's Hate Inc. by Matt Taibbi, and I find that interesting because Matt Taibbi ultimately landed on a critique of uh, Wall Street that it wasn't actually 
um, a problem of capitalism. It was a problem of the state being uh, too in cahoots with banks. And actually, free market capitalism would is what we need to uh, respond to the 2008 financial crisis. This is, this is the exact same thing. Yeah. So these are just basically capitalist apologists masquerading as populists. Mm-hmm. Um, which is and, a right-wing construction, yeah. which is literally what we say about the right all the time. When they go after Disney, they're not against corporate power. They're against this bad corporation. When they go after social media companies, they're not against the social media companies having this power they're saying it needs to be the right kind of guy like elon musk in power there's no structural critique so this is the same thing there's no such thing as a free market that's asinine the idea oh we need we just need to value our natural resources uh uh, who does that well that's the we (laughs) we had an author on maybe two weeks ago um it was adrian bueller uh, or buller sorry uh, the value of a whale on the illusions of green capitalism and she spoke about how detrimental in her book these market-based fixations are on on saving the environment. You can't put a value on a whale, but she talks about growing up in Vancouver that that was how they tried to save the whales by saying, well, this based on tourism and, and X, Y, and Z, this whale is worth $2 million. But leaving it to the whims of the market is asinine. The market is what got us here in the first place. Yeah. So he's all about clean and green and get clean getting put into your body. And his construction is more right wing than any environmentalist I've ever heard. And I met that dude at Standing Rock, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that is crazy. Do we have any more of that? Yeah. Or is that the end? Oh, exactly. Okay, I want to keep going. I'll show you a fat cat using political clout to escape the discipline of the free market and force the public Discipl- to pay his production costs. It's, it's a politician, not a capitalist. Is. When the general, when a, you know, when a, a coal company burns coal at, you know, and, and sells it, for, for example, North Carolina, 16 cents a kilowatt hour. We have the award two cents in, in the evening. We have the sense that we're getting the cheapest energy possible. Yeah, I mean, like, this is just... But nobody, <laughs> sorry, like no, no free market will price that. It would take a state to do that, to force uh, the capitalists to account for their externalities like pollution. The, this free market stuff, it's... It's der- it, like it's deranged. And look, if uh, my uh, uncle and dad were assassinated by the CIA running for politics, I might be a little bit out there too. But this is just, <laughs> this is just nuts. No, I mean, in the one issue that we can say that he has value in is bringing up those topics. And but like, is but, he? But, but I'm concerned yeah. about that because of we saw before Tucker Carlson was fired, him doing all of these JFK assassination stuff. The right's trying to co-opt this, and it's no coincidence that. He's been like canoodling with the likes of Stone and Bannon and 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 I'm not saying that this is some sort of like rat fuck campaign, but I'm not saying it's not. If you're if you're with Roger Stone, like that question is totally. There. I don't know. And we should have debates over stuff, but like, so I can't say. Right, but I mean, like the like I, I just think like like the the um, the anti-vax stuff that he's been on for a long time like was sad. But this stuff, like, is like uh, he doesn't like. It would be one thing if you ran a campaign exclusively on like the CIA uh, is assassinating people. But like to add this other crap in is, um, you know, I mean, it's it's damaging to those issues. Uh, it, it, this is, uh, you know, really um, out there stuff. I think it's you know pathetic. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I just could the true. <laughs> True free market promotes efficiency. I just like whatever, man. Not even yeah. I mean, you might hear Biden say that, but like, <laughs> it's just. Um, I mean, just run as a Republican. I then. know, <laughs> but but, that, but there's no value in him doing that. Yeah, he has the crypto bros. Whether it promotes efficiency, he's a crypto guy. Or- or economic, or or whether th- economics incentive, you know, uh, enforce environmental uh, uh-huh. regulations yeah. or whatever. You know? No, RFK is pro crypto explicitly. Um, yeah, I mean, how could you, how could he not be? Yeah. And Groucho Marxist writes in, didn't RFK sue to stop wind turbines being placed off the coast of Martha's Vineyard because his view would be ruined? I didn't know that, but well, he's but, one of those people. It wouldn't shock me. But. Yeah, that would not shock me. Didn't Trump also? Uh, get pissy about that ruining the views from his golf course in in Ireland or whatever. Oh yeah, total and, rich and guy well, nonsense. I think, and also because they kill birds, that's his big. Thing. Oh, he was upset about the yeah. birds. Yeah. I, I think the the most interesting thing about the post uh, pandemic political landscape is it, like watching you know what I would consider to be like 
very niche conspiracy theory figures become like mainstreamed by like Republican and just even, you know, objective, though, but at least in terms of branding mm. uh, outlets, it's just like, yeah, you know, so this is kind of stuff, not the libertarian views on free market. Oh, that tends to go hand in hand with a lot of conspiracy theorists. But, you know, a lot of the vaccine stuff just you know, they're just things that people have been saying in conspiracy theory circles in your grandpa's Facebook group for decades. And it's, he's compelling for the same reason they've always been compelling because they sprinkle in like little bits of conspiracies that are true. Like the fact that the JFK and RFK assassinations are very suspicious. <laughs> and then they sort of like lead you to a little bit less true conspiracies like, yeah. you know, anti-vaccines. And then that's just a big bucket of like, things you can believe. But, you know, I think, again, people like this are empowered by a political system that chooses to deny everything that it, yeah. it makes them look on, that makes the political system itself, the status quo seem, you know, not just suspicious, but immoral because it, it is capitalistic. But, you know, I, I don't think this is going to be a, a real, especially since he's running in the, the Democratic primary, he should go to Republicans. He'd have a better, a better shot. I know, but maybe the shot isn't the point, at least for the people funding him. And by the way, Nate from Cape Cod writes in and corrects. It was Ted Kennedy who didn't want the uh, the the wind turbines and correction that Trump's golf course is in Scotland. So sorry for the fake news. 